Today let's learn the general syntax and working of do while loop in C programming language. In do while loop, the statements present inside the do block gets executed at least once before checking the condition that is while condition, okay? As with while and for loop, if we have only single statement, the curly braces are optional. If we have multiple statements, then the curly braces are a must, okay? I'll, I'll print Apple and IBM inside do block. I'll show you that the, the block of code present inside do will execute at least once even though the while condition is false, okay? For that, I'll take an integer variable count and initialize it to one. In while condition, I'll write while count is greater than five which is false because count is one which is less than five okay still the uh, statements inside do block gets executed at least once let me compile and run this program and as you can see apple and ibm gets printed at least once now let me make this condition true that is count is less than five okay so inside the do block, let me increment the value of count by one for each duration of this block of code. So count is less than five. So count is initialized to one and this block of code executes until count is less than five. That means until count is four, one to four, four times these two things that is Apple and IBM gets executed. That is looping it loops through four times from one to four let me show that to you by printing the value of count okay so the do while block gets executed four times from one to four we can even take character type variable let me show that to you for infinite loop we can specify any non-zero integer and this code keeps on executing ex keeps on executing until uh, your system freezes or your browse your console window exits by itself okay so this is infinite looping so if we take character variable ch and we wait until user inputs yes that is y y e s for short i'll write y you can't write y e s because it's character type and not string type okay i'll remove that let me remove this too i'll ask the user if he wants to continue executing this block of code inside do block okay he can specify y or n n means no y means yes okay if he types y the the block of code executes once again if he types n then the execution exits this do while block so let me remove this percentage d and count because we have already removed the variable count so let me remove this too or else we will start getting errors okay so once we run this program these two line of code gets printed and then we it asks the user if he wants to continue if he types y then the looping continues then that is once again the apple and ibm gets printed if he types n then the control exits this two while loop okay but it only executed one time now if you press any key it exits the terminal to fix this issue we have a built-in method called f flush it takes an argument stdin that is standard input device but before that let's check if it works no it throws an error because it needs an argument to work properly okay 
So let me specify stdin inside this f flush function. What it does is it flushes the buffer present inside the input device. In our case, it's keyboard. If we don't specify f flush and uh, and pass it an argument that is stdin, then it thinks that the user has input something through the input device that is keyboard, and it keeps on waiting for for the buffer to be clear so we clear it ourselves by using f flush method now everything works fine this do while loop keep executing until you type y okay once you type n the control exits the do while loop so that's it so for for source code notes and discussion about this topic please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video Please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog, share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.